In this lesson, we'll explore how we can clean up the whites of the eyes. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if we zoom in here, you can see that in the towards the inner corners of the eyes, you can see he's got some pretty notorious veins. Um, he looks very bloodshot in the eyes. So I basically want to remove those veins um, and just kind of clean up the whites of the eyes and then maybe brighten them up just slightly. So let's go ahead and create a new layer and we'll go ahead and use our clone stamp tool for this demonstration. I'm just going to right click um, bringing up my brush preset picker. We'll go ahead and go with a default soft round brush and then I'll turn on transfer making sure I have pen pressure for the controls for both opacity and flow. And we might zoom in here just a little bit more hitting control equals on our keyboard and I'm just going to hold down alt to kind of sample from the white areas of the eye and basically begin to kind of clean up these little veins. I might even kind of come over here and pull in some of that white. Now you'll notice that this isn't perfectly white, okay? And you really don't want the eyes to be pure white, or at least the whites of the eyes. Um, and so later on when we start to brighten them up, you want to keep that in mind because it can start to make them, if you get them too bright, they're just going to look scary, kind of alien-like. Okay? But already you can start to see kind of how we're starting to clear out kind of that bloodshot look that he has going in his eyes there. So this part can be a little bit tedious. And so, as I mentioned, kind of at the very beginning of this course, the clone stamp tool works great in situations like this where you have definite edges, okay? Well, all you're doing is just directly copying over sampled pixels from one place to another, okay? It's not putting into account um, any kind of shadows or highlights or texture or anything like that. It's just kind of a direct copy Okay, so that's feeling pretty nice right there, all right? All right, very good. And I also, I may want to kind of sample from kind of this darker tone area here, kind of work a little bit of that kind of back in, just because I don't want it to be perfectly, I don't want it to be the same value here as it is over here. We want to still maintain a little bit of a shadow, kind of like you see over here. Okay, so I'm just using the clone stamp to kind of, work in a little bit of that. I think we can easily do that. Just painting that back in. And again, having transfer turned on, I think it helps with that. All right, so that's feeling pretty good. I'll kind of zoom out there, see how that's looking. Let's go ahead and shift gears and kind of move over to the opposite side here. And we'll just kind of start to clone out these little veins right here, just cleaning up the eyes. So already that feels much better. Same thing over here, we'll just kind of clean up this little area. Trying to sample relatively close in, in as often as I can next to those veins. All right, very good. So there's a number of different ways you could really go about this. You could even use your brush tool, just sampling the kind of the different values of white there and painting over those veins. But I think this way works just fine, pretty effective. All right, very cool. And again, we, we might even go ahead and try that. I can take my brush tool here and kind of sample some of that. I just kind of want to have a nice shadow just kind of right in there. So we could still use the brush tool, it might kind of help us even out actually some of those values that we have there. When I say values, I mean like your darks and your lights. Okay, that's feeling pretty nice though. So just kind of making another comparison here. It's much better, he's no longer bloodshot in his eye. So now I want to kind of uh, brighten his eyes up just slightly. So to do this, I'm going to come over here to the bottom of our layers panel and we'll click on this little circle. And we're going to go ahead and go with levels. 
All right. And so under our levels, I'm just going to take this little white bracket right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of pull it slightly to the left. Now you can see what's happening is we're basically brightening up the whole image, and we totally do not want that. So this is where um, I basically want to take the layer mask that comes um, with the adjustment layer, and I'm going to go ahead and take that and invert it. So to do that, just as we've done before, control I, that inverts it so everything is masked out. And then we're going to take, uh, still using our brush tool in white as our foreground. Let's zoom back in here, and we'll kind of start to reveal in some of that lighter value that we have we're, we're starting to establish and so th this is this is meant to just be kind of a, a very subtle kind of thing kind of zooming out there so you can kind of see just by making that comparison by toggling the visibility of that adjustment layer kind of the difference that makes so that feels pretty nice and of course if you wanted to rein it back in just a little bit you can switch to black as your foreground color and just very lightly kind of paint back over just a little bit of that okay and so again I'm using my brush tool and, and I should still be using a soft round brush um, with transfer enabled looks like I am so just kind of double checking that there just to make sure all right but already that feels um, just worlds better just with those couple of changes we've made um, with his eyes so he no longer feels bloodshot and that just, again, kind of um, makes his eyes feel a little bit more lively, uh, kind of like what we did right here, just adding that space and kind of pulling that, that brow up some. I think that helped a lot as well early on. Okay, so in our next and final lesson, we're going to just kind of work all, the, all around the entire face, just kind of doing little touch-ups. We're going to address the lips finally, just kind of removing just kind of some of the dry skin, just his some of his lip crusties, <laughs> if you want to call it that just kind of getting rid of those. So stick around and we'll go ahead and kind of make some final edits to our um, gentleman here in the next lesson. We'll see you then.